All right, in this video, I'm gonna show how to make the Raspberry Pi video looper, which I made in this video. In the computer, first you need to connect a micro SD card to your computer. Okay, and first you need to completely format it. And to do that, you need to go to SD Formatter. Mac download. Accept. All right, once that's downloaded, I'll just install that package in there. And then we're gonna need another software too that's free. Type in the password. We also need the software called Etcher. It's by Balena, so that's it. Just click download. Looks like that worked. Move to trash. Now I'm downloading Etcher. This is for Mac, PC, it's a little different. So now that we've got those two programs, uh, first we're going to open up SD Formatter. And make sure it's selected your SD card right here. This is my 8 gig, and I'm just going to do overwrite format because I want to completely do it. But most of the time, quick format's good enough. It takes a long time. It takes a long time, so I'm just going to zoom through it. Alright, now that that has completed, I've got a completely empty card here, and I need to open Etcher. So, first thing you need is an image, and for that, I'm just gonna go to Raspberry Pi and you need to download an operating system. I'll just go to Raspbian with desktop and recommended software and just download. Well, I'm just gonna do with desktop. It's a little bit smaller, so I'll download zip. So once that's done, you'll get a zip file and just open the zip file and you'll get this right here, which is an IMG file and that's what an image is. So select image, I'm going to go to my desktop, grab that IMG file, make sure it says IMG, and then this will grab my 8 gigabyte card and click flash. Alright, once that's done, it automatically ejects the drive, and you can go ahead and Put it in your Raspberry Pi for additional setup. Card right here. Here's my Raspberry Pi. This is where it goes. And I have the Pi 3B. So I've got the HDMI right there. Plug that in first. And then I'm just gonna Like that, turned on, this is what you'll see pop up. So when it boots up, it boots to this desktop, this message on the front. Click next. I'm in the US, so I'm gonna change my country to US. Yep, and New York. Make a password. Next. Um, my screen does not have edges around the corner, so it says to check the box if it does. Mine doesn't. Can 
connect to your Wi-Fi. All right, once it connects to your internet, click next to update the software. All right, that took freaking forever, so we're just gonna do one one more thing here. Say later to restart. We're gonna go to terminal, type in sudo raspi-config, and then using this, go down to interfacing options, and where it says SSH, click it and click yes. SSH server enabled, and we will go ahead and click finish, and now we're going to just shut down. Well, actually, we're going to restart. All right, now that we've got the Pi set up, we can we need to download an app called LandScan to find the IP. You probably will only have one Raspberry Pi on your network, but your Raspberry Pi has to be on and connected to your network to show up here. So I'm gonna note this number right here under IP address. So type SSH pi at that IP address, press enter, say yes, and type that password you created. And it won't show any text being typed, but it is. Click enter, and if you get this green here, then you got it. You're in your Raspberry Pi. This is just the same as if you go to your Raspberry Pi desktop and click terminal. So what we're going to create is this video looper and we'll click on installation. So this is talking about setting up your Pi, keep on going down, alright. This is what we need. So just one by one we're just going to paste this, so I'll just copy that, paste it. Copy that. Oops. Paste it. Copy this. Paste it. And then we need these two lines right there. Copy that. And now you'll see you're in, this means you're in the Pi Video Looper folder. Copy that, paste it. So this says after about 5 minutes you should see the installation stop with the message finished. So we're looking for it to say that. And then we're going to check to see because once this is done then when you plug your Raspberry Pi in to power it'll just boot up with this screen to insert USB drive. So I'll just let this finish and make sure it doesn't have any errors. All right, there it is, finished. So before I unplug, I'm just gonna type cd dot dot just to get 
out of that folder and then I'm going to type in sudo shutdown actually sudo shutdown now and that'll shut down my Raspberry Pi so now I'll just test that it worked alright I've got a monitor here and I've got a HDMI cable monitors plugged in so go ahead and plug HDMI into my Raspberry Pi it's got that 8 SD card back in there plug that into the wall and then you can change this to HDMI There we go. And then once I plug this in. Alright, there we go. And since I have this remote, I'll just hit turn it on and hit escape just so I can shut it down safely. Thanks for watching.